Alright you guys, this is another Jesse Cated video. This one is all about how to foil faster. I gave you guys some of my favorite tips on how I have picked up my speed over the years. This was a Jesse Cated video and I am excited to share it with you here on YouTube, so I hope you enjoy it. For today's video, we are going to be giving you tips on how to highlight and foil faster. This is something that a lot of new stylists and old stylists struggle with because a lot of times we are perfectionists and we like to take our time, which is always great. But over the years, I have found a few tips and tricks that have been really helpful on helping me speed up my time because time is money. So if you're interested in watching this one, we're gonna get started. We're gonna be doing a partial highlight and I'm just gonna talk about all of the things I have learned to go quicker in the salon. All right, you guys, my first two tips is number one, have your foils ready to go before your client gets there. It may take five or 10 minutes of prep time before you start the appointment, but it is going to save you time overall. Whether you use pop-up foils like these Framar ones or ones that you have to rip, having a pile of foils before you get started is really important in speeding up your time. Second would be have your lightener mixed to the consistency that you're comfortable with. For example, I really like my lightener to be a little runnier, a little smoother, and I feel like I work a lot quicker if I'm comfortable with the consistency. If you like yours thicker, then do it thicker, but just make sure that you get the perfect consistency before you start because if you're able to work with lightener you're comfortable with, you're going to go a lot faster. My third tip is to have your client sectioned off perfectly before you begin. I've seen a lot of stylists that will just kind of start foiling with no pattern and just kind of like wing it as they go. And I feel like that does slow you down a little bit. So for her, I'm doing a partial. I did a mohawk section right here and then I sectioned off her side so I can do a face frame on either side as well. That's going to save me time in the long run because I know exactly where I'm going to be working and it's going to make me a lot faster. Okay, another one of my tips is to not fold your foils perfectly as you go. As you guys know, many of us hairdressers are really OCD and we like things to be perfect and pretty, or at least I do. And because of that, we like our foils to be folded perfectly and that can really slow us down. For example, let's say you're folding your foil perfectly, right? So you're going like this and then you have to take each side and fold it in. That's going to add honestly at least five to ten minutes to your whole process overall which can slow you down in the long run so my tip is to fold minimally so if you look under this foil i just did you can see that i didn't fold any sides of these foils once i'm about 10 foils in i take the side of my comb and i'm going to fold all of those foils up together like this and then continue on that way those sides are getting folded up it's still looking really nice clean and organized but it's going to save you a lot of time in the long run trust me I also feel like if you fold your foils this way and don't do the corners every time, you're gonna end up having your foils lay a little bit flatter and then you can fit more in, which is always a good thing. Another tip is using your clip to part the hair. Do you guys remember in hair school when you were learning how to foil and it was so overwhelming because you had to hold the foil and the comb and the clip and it was just like juggling everything all at once and it was super confusing? So this is a way to kind of cut down on that. So basically I have my section. I'm going to remove my clip. My comb's in my hand as well. I'm going to take my clip, part off, and then just put it right back in and then start highlighting. That way you don't have to remove your clip, put it down on your tray, then put it back in. This just kind of cuts down on all of that process. And I feel like it makes me more efficient. You can really use any clip. Um, I like using these from our ones because they're metal and it helps you kind of carve out your section really well. Another good thing to keep in mind is to always use tools you're comfortable with. For example, these Goldwell brushes have been my rider day for years now. I'm using the small one right now because we're doing a partial, and with partial highlights, we're mainly focusing on the top of the head and around the hairline, so the hair's a little more fragile and I'm doing more detail work. So using a small brush like this is going to be really beneficial. And if I had a bigger brush, I kind of feel like it would slow me down because I'd be distributing too much product. So this is a really good tip, is use the right brush for the area of hair you're working on. 
My next tip is so weird, you guys, um, especially because in a professional setting when you're working with clients, I normally wouldn't recommend this, but it is chewing gum. The reason being, and there is like no scientific fact behind this, this is just my opinion and something I've noticed, is when I'm chewing gum and I'm doing a highlight, I feel like I start to get into a rhythm and a pattern with my chewing and I end up mimicking that with my highlighting. I could be totally wrong about that, but I've been doing it for years and it always seems to help. So make sure you have some gum handy and try that little tip out because I swear it works. This next tip is pretty self-explanatory, but honestly, practice makes perfect. I would start with timing yourself, how long it takes you to do a highlight on your own, whether it's a partial, a half, or a full. Um, you know, it's probably best to start with a full so you know what your full process takes. Um, so as soon as you watch this video, I want you to challenge yourself, time yourself with a full highlight, and then I want you to try all these tricks over the next month and practice on mannequins, your clients, friends, and family, and see if you can speed up your time in a month. Um, my rule of thumb for color processes is I always give myself an hour to apply, an hour to process, and an hour to tone and style, and it usually works out pretty efficiently, and I know that sounds kind of fast, but but if you can pick up your time, like I said, time is money and you can get more people in. Okay guys, another tip I have is to take really small sections and baby light as much as possible. The reason being is when you're taking smaller sections, you're going to have your processing go a lot faster. You're gonna get a smoother, cleaner lift, so they're going to process quicker. And then also, you're doing less product. If your sections are chunkier or thicker, you're gonna saturate more and it's gonna take more time to actually cover everything. But if they're really thin and delicate, then you're gonna spend less time applying the product. much for watching this episode of Jessie Kated. I hope you learned some tips on how to foil a little bit faster. Make sure you try those techniques at home and let me know how you liked them. Make sure you follow us on Instagram at Education with Jessie and we'll see you on the next one.